We're here today in the art barn um, working on cooking this meal together with the other people from my media and the environment class. In Media 360, our goal is we're partnering with different organizations in Northfield and we're doing projects that work with addressing a problem with the environment and what we can do to better help that problem. One of our key projects in this class is a short documentary which we're producing in collaboration with community partners. The local nonprofits have a need for high quality, sophisticated media to promote their interests. The students benefit by a direct hands-on experience and that conceivably could have a positive impact on these organizations and their missions. There are really three things going on in our session tonight. The first is to get together and just enjoy dinner together and a meal that is sourced almost entirely from local ingredients. The second is to benefit from first-hand experience with working alumni professionals in uh, videography. And the third is that for the students to observe those professionals at work. So being a filmmaker in Minneapolis, I was really excited to be asked to come in and uh, speak to the students at Media360. They were way ahead of where I was uh, when I was a student. Cell phones, social media, everyone knows how to make a video now. But maybe what the more challenging part is how to uh, convey your message in an in in effective way. I've learned about different angles, like wide angles, close shots, how to use different cameras and what different cameras are good for. So we're learning about the pros and cons of different cameras and also how to use those cameras. Experiential learning, in many ways, is on the other end of a continuum, where uh, applied learning, in the field, hands-on learning, communicating, cooperating, uh, collaborating with external clients, for instance, becomes itself the learning process. And you can learn beyond just what is the relationship between media and the environment. You're learning about how do people move on from what they're learning in books and from other forms of media to how they take that and use it in the world. So I just think when you work beyond the classroom, you start to get ideas for how you want to live your life after college. What it means to be an only is to have access to these kind of experiences. A small class size, distinguished alumni professionals that were here to contribute their expertise, on-site professionals who are here also to uh, model real pre-professional uh, possibilities for students. And then, frankly, all in the context of a somewhat less formal um, atmosphere this evening where we are going to relax and cook dinner together. I think that's what it means to be an oldie.